Hello, my monstrosities. Hello once again. Today I bring to you a plague build video. Or rather, a bilge video. Uba Duba, this one is for you who has asked me for a gameplay video for Plague. They also recommended a build of Plaything, Face the Darkness, Pentimental, and Thrill of the Hunt. I am here to hopefully help out by offering several different builds. And heads up for anybody watching this, Uba Duba or not, this intro will be a bit longer, so if you want to skip to the gameplay of me using one of these builds, I don't blame you. But for this one, it's the Anti-Meta Meta Plague, which took me way too long to think of this build considering I just talked about half of these perks in my last video. You see, this one offers everything you want right now. Something to slow down the game at the beginning with Corrupt Intervention, something to slow down the game throughout with Thana, getting rid of Exhaustion perks with Blood Echo, and some tracking with Gearhead. Plague makes it so that people get injured pretty easily, and people will stay injured, so you inflict the exhaustion once you hook somebody, and you will see people once they do good skill checks while this is up. Yeah, pretty self-explanatory for this. And for this, I recommend the add-ons of the Incense Duo, because you will see people after they bomb, and after they clean. Pretty nice. Then next we have something that can only really work on plague nowadays i had this as my unreal build where yes we're still using these but now we have merciless storm and dying light dying light makes it so that your obsession gets a bonus to unhooking and healing other people plague is the only one now you know with some minor exceptions that prevents people from just healing outright so only useless on plague nowadays but in return, if you hook people that aren't the Obsession, you gain stacks to slow down the game in other ways. And if people are slowed down between this and this, once they get to 90% progress on a gen, they get a bunch of skill checks that will take a long time to deal with for that last 10%, and if they mess up or stop repairing because they give up, the gen gets blocked for 20 seconds, giving you some delay and information because you'll know where that happened. Then for the add-ons, we're using rubbing oil and affected a medic because we want to charge our vom faster and we want to vom a little bit harder. But if you want to get wacky tabacky, I have a weird tech choice. You can somehow squeeze in Gift of Pain. This will make it so that the first time the survivor is healed, they suffer a 16% speed penalty to healing and repairing actions until injured again. Sure, you can basic attack people and then don't have to worry about the getting them broken first and yada yada yada, put them on a white hook. But you could also just incorporate this because if they go to clean, they will now be healed from their injuries and get 16% speed penalty. This will be pretty nasty, so you can do that. And then we're going to do something even more despicable today. You see, it all starts with Plague's very own. Infectious Fright. Any survivors that are within your Terriatus, while another survivor is put into the down state, will scream and reveal the location to you for six seconds. Well, Plague is pretty good at snowballing with her Red Bomb, but if you only have green, we're going to be mean. You see, with Knockout, our basic attacks make it so that survivors that are put down are not seen if somebody isn't within 16 meter range of where they are. And then also, that survivor that's down crawls 50% slower for 15 seconds, their recovery speed is reduced by 25%, and they're blinded during this time. Yes, put somebody down, see if anybody's around, and do it again. And well, you have an option. If you want to go chase somebody and put them down too, feel free to keep snowballing. This will also give us bonus use for Thana with this build. You see, the dying part, well, they'll be down, so you'll get that bonus 2% and at max with everybody being in one of those states, 20% max. But, we really want the totem cleansing speed part for, yes, something that Hooba Duba recommended, Hex Face the Darkness. Entering a survivor by any means lights a dull totem, activating the Hex. While the Hex is active, all other survivors outside of your terror radius will scream every 25 seconds, revealing their persistence and aura for two. This will go away if that person is then downed or becomes healthy, and will go away permanently if they manage to clean the totem, which they probably won't because of Thanos. They're still using the same add-ons, and yeah, that's the idea, that's the build, and with that being said, roll the clip, and I hope you enjoy. I've been here so many times, I should know that by now, but I still messed that up. Funny enough, I haven't been here in a minute. 
which is good. You all have been with me for, you know, a few months. You will know that this used to be a map that I'm always on. I get sent to rather. Uh, RNG, what are you doing? No! Waste time with that. I accidentally stepped into that one. And audio is interesting. I didn't even hear you come up the stairs. Alright, here we go with the face, the dark Nihilus. Alright. Shagged out it. Old. Okay. Got passed by the sliver. And you know what? Okay. Alright, I thought I was boosted for a second, but something's up, because I guess. Same side, pallet stuns are back. I'm not going to continue to chase you right now because that is annoying. Because that should not happen anymore. Like, to that extent. What are you doing over here, Ski? What are you doing? Just left the loop, okay, okay. Here. You know, the other thing about Face the Darkness, are we really doing this on the smallest loop on this entire map? <coughs> the other thing about Face the Darkness is that if somebody doesn't have it on them, oh. like you didn't means that you probably are on again by yourself because everybody else is infected you know in this scenario 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 what do you all say oh you know on paper this looks terrible that i'm getting my first hook at three gens in reality this is a good spot to be in okay you crawled here. I was expecting somebody to be coming through here to go get another person. We'll take this too. Two hooks, two gems. Looks pretty bad. This, this should still be alright though. It's cleaned here. Get this out the way. Get my power. I can be a real bad guy now. That was some funky movement. Okay, yeah, no, you, you have something going on there. That, that's just not what should be. Hello. <coughs> Nobody's around, so that means that nobody knows where you are. No one knows. Corner. 
person is still on the ground. about leaving people on the ground is that means that that person isn't on a gen and if you see them get up that means that somebody else wasn't on a gen even if face the darkness is off you seem to be favored by face the darkness also that was not two seconds of aura reading was it oh you know what where'd you go um, probably did that stupid thing like bitter murmur. I'm gonna drop it. Like bitter murmur, where the whole bleep of the aura thingy covers most of your time to get the aura. people here. Remind you, he is not affected by knockout right now. Like you are. You got him up. I'm assuming that you will go to that gym, right? again. Wait. Oh, you weren't... Oh, man. Hit, I waited just one more second, huh? Oh. You go back on a hook. Where is the hook? There is the hook. You see, information, because I didn't know where to go. This person is pre-pathing. Oh, oh. A little bit of bomb on you. Somebody injured is right here. going for the hook, not the person. Ooh, what? That's a robbery. A robbery? A robbery. Why are you sticking around, bud? I'm not as nice as you think I am when I'm playing this build. I've learned. I didn't learn. I'm boosted. I'm losing him. Oh, why am I sliding off? Oh, not around here. Try to rock back and forth on that window. I have nothing but time. Well, that was an awful gooping. Okay. I just want to say, 
I have a rule. If you crawl to a corner and you struggle, knowing I can't get to a hook, you're going back on the ground. I don't care. Could add that just to prove that, but I'd rather keep the video shorter. So, hey, ruthless. Everybody's out. Where's my merciless? What? Oh, I've been highway robbed once more. Man, this game was nothing but cheating. But, I mean, hey, as you can see with the game, still works. Um, admittedly, closer than I like, but I think I'm going to choose this game compared to, like, the kind of, like, blowout, because this was more fun for me. These people probably didn't have fun at the end, but yeah. If you like the video, like it. Got a comment for me, comment. And until next time, Peace out, my monstrosities.